All righty, we're back, little Hebrews. We're part two of keeping our eye on Yah, which basically means staying focused, keeping your heart, your mind, your thoughts, your ways, and your actions on Yah. So if you are thinking about Yah, you are reading his word, you're praying, then you are keeping your eyes on Yah. Because we know that if we stay focused and we follow Yah, we keep our eyes on Yah, we do what Yah wants us to do as we read in the scriptures, we know that we will be blessed, that we will be protected, that we will have Yahoshua, our Messiah, to guide us and lead us in, in the laws and the commandments. Hallelujah. So, little Hebrews, let me just say real quick as well, if there is something in the lesson that you may not understand or you may have a question, grab a pencil and a piece of paper and write it down so you don't forget it and you can ask your mom and dad about it later or you can ask in the class after we're done with the lesson when it's time for questions something you may have missed or don't understand or something you may just have been thinking about yourself. All right, so we're going to jump right back into it, into the lesson, Little Hebrews, with Psalms 25, verse 1, and I'm going to read the first line of verse 2, okay? So here we go. To you, O Yah, I lift up my being. O my Yah, in you I have put my trust. When we trust Yah, Little Hebrews, we don't worry about anything. You know how you may want something, you, you, you've seen this, uh, let's say, new toy that you want. And you worrying about it, oh, I want this toy, I want this toy. You just keep on thinking about it. And your mom probably is going to get it for you, but you just don't know. But you keep worrying and worrying and worrying about it. It doesn't help you get it any faster, does it? Because you still have to wait until she gives it to you. That's the same thing how it is with trusting and keeping our eyes on Yah, little Hebrews. When we trust in Yah, we have to be patient. There may be something that we pray about, like us, us adults, we pray about getting jobs, pray that our families are able to eat and have a place to live. But sometimes, little Hebrews, it doesn't always happen right when we pray. So because we trust in Yah and we keep our eyes on Yah, we know that he will bless us. And we have to wait and be patient. But Yah always, always sees us through, little Hebrews. And it's the same thing with you, little Hebrews. You have to keep your eyes on Yah. You have to trust in Yah and know that no matter what, Yah will be there. Hallelujah. There's a beautiful song that, and it says that Yah will be there. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Now, don't uh, hold me to that song because <laughs> I don't know all the words, but I do know that part. All righty, little Hebrews. We're going to continue on and we're going to jump to the next scripture, Psalms 92, verse 1. So let's turn there, little Hebrews. All righty. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, little Hebrews. <laughs> but 92 verse 1. It says, It is good to give thanks to Yah and to sing praises to his name. O Most High. Hallelujah, little Hebrews. It is good to give thanks to Yah. Whether you're having a good day, whether you're having a bad day, little Hebrews, praise Yah. No matter what, little Hebrews, if you just fall down, just get back up and wipe it off and say, Hallelujah. That's praising Yah. Hallelujah means praise you, Yah. Because no matter what, little Hebrews, we must always praise Yah. When we're having a good day, when we're having a bad day, you know, we must always praise Yah, little Hebrews. So it is good to give thanks to Yah and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Ha, hallelujah, little Hebrews, so awesome. So always remember that, little Hebrews. Now what we're going to do, little Hebrews, is continue on, and we're going to kind of end out with these next two psalms. We're going to go to Psalms 18. Okay, go Psalms 18, and we're going to read verse 1. I love you, O Yah, my strength. Because when you're feeling weak, little Hebrews, Yah will be your strength. When you're feeling sad, little Hebrews, Yah can make you happy. When you don't understand, little Hebrews, Yah will give you understanding. Little Hebrews, always, always know that Yah loves you, He hears you, and He will be there with you through all things. 
That's what your parents are there for too, little Hebrews, because Yah uses them to protect you. Yah uses them to love you. Yah uses them to show you his ways, little Hebrews, because that's how wonderful our Yah is, little Hebrews. Let's read that again. Psalms 18, verse 1. I love you, O Yah, my strength, because Yah will always be our strength, little Hebrews. Hallelujah. Always, little Hebrews, no matter what, stand for Yah. Always, little Hebrews, stand up for this truth. Always, little Hebrews, know that no matter what, Yah will be there, and He will never, ever let you down. He will never, ever not hear your prayers, little Hebrews. Hallelujah. So let's go to Psalms 146, little Hebrews, and we're starting to end this lesson out. I truly pray that you have understanding, and um, please forgive me for all the little noises that you probably heard in the background. I'm multitasking. <laughs> all right, little Hebrews, Psalms 146. Is that? Yeah, Psalm 146. Uh, let's see. Actually, okay, wait a minute. Yes, Psalms 146, verse 1. Praise Yah. Praise Yah, O oh my being. While I live, I praise Yah. I sing praises to my Most High while I exist. Hallelujah. That was Psalms 146, verses 1 through 2. Never, ever stop praising Yah, little Hebrews. Always praise Him. And praising Yah makes you feel good when you can just say, Hallelujah, Toda Yah. It makes you feel good. Sing a song to Yah. Sing praises to his name, little Hebrews, because he is worthy. That means he's worth it. <laughs> and he loves you, little Hebrews, no matter what. Always remember to keep your eye on Yah by staying focused in his word, by keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, by honoring, respecting, and obeying your mother and your father and those who are in Yah. And also, little Hebrews, always remember this one little thing here. Always go to Yah in prayer. Pray every day, little Hebrews. If you can remember, pray in the morning when you wake up. Pray in the afternoon, maybe before you take your nap. And pray at night before you go to sleep, little Hebrews. And if you can throw in a little prayer through the, in the middle of the day, that's also fine. And always know, little Hebrews, even if you just have, if you just stop and you might just um, want to stop. Let's say you're playing at the playground or something. You can stop and just think in your head to Yah. Yah, I thank you. I love you. Told I for protecting me. That's a prayer, little Hebrews. Just thinking about Yah. Staying focused on Yah. Keeping your eye on Yah. Hallelujah. And with that, little Hebrews, I will end out part two. Ima will come up and ask you some questions. And again, I pray, little Hebrews, that you got understanding. And remember, if there's something you don't understand or you have a question, get a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. Write it down, and you can ask your mom or your dad later. Or you can ask in the, in the class after the lesson is over during the question and answer uh, if we have time for it, okay? Toda for uh, letting me bring this lesson to you. I appreciate you all. I love you all, my little Hebrews. You guys are so wonderful, and you make my Sabbath beautiful every time I come here to be with you. Love you, little Hebrews. Yabla.